Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to I no I am going to show you how to uh, upgrade sla uh, slash replace the CPU in this in one of these Dell Optiplex uh, seven seventy tens. So you can see up here, and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So first of all, you want to put it on its side. Can do it. Uh, you can do it stand uh, with the computer standing up, but doing it this way just makes it a little bit easier. So, the computer's kind of big, but there is a handle up here. Just pull that; it should come right out. Might have to struggle a little bit. I got this one from my trash station, so not surprised. It was owned previously owned by a company. There was no hard drive installed. This is my own, and I know it's not installed correctly. It's supposed to be down here, but I, of course, I don't have the bracket for it. So it's just mounted up here in the uh, port thingy. Uh, it looks like it's for a diskette drive, but it's really not. I should put a diskette drive in here. There is no slots in the front for me to do that. I could put it on the top, but anyways, let's get straight into it. Get a good sized Phillips screwdriver and you can start unscrewing the fan or the heatsink and fan assembly. And you don't need to take the screws out, you can just leave them in there, so it's good. Pretty easy. And now that all these screws are unscrewed, you can push on this clip here. Let me try and do this. So, there's this little thing here that you have to push. So, you see this little thing poking up. You basically just pinch the connector. You know, just pinch it. And then, it should come right out. But don't pinch the... God. Sometimes, uh, if you pinch it, it won't come out because you're actually holding the connector as well. So, like... Damn camera. So, try not to hold, like, the entire thingy. You know? Just hold, like, maybe the tip, like that. You can see how that clip works. Just... Try and hold the tip, because I guess from this black thingy sticking out and on, that's part of the connector. So you just want to hold the very tip of it and should come out with no issues. So this is the uh, heat sink and fan assembly. So yeah, now that is our core i5 CPU. And now you just want to push down on this little lever right there, this metal thing. Just push it and pull it out like that. And it should come out. Pull it all the way. And yeah, our CPU should be able to come out. And crusty thermal paste is falling everywhere. So wait, let me get my tweezers. Uh, you probably shouldn't have to deal with this, but, well, lucky me, I guess. Oh, dust. Probably wasn't a good idea. Ah. As long as it's contacting, it shouldn't be an issue. But yeah, you shouldn't have to deal with what I'm dealing with right now. 
But anyways, now that you've gotten your new CPU, uh, you can just put it in. And of course, I just put it in the wrong way. Make sure you put it in the right way. Um, so, see these two things sticking out right here? And you see these little indents on the side of the CPU. You have to align them. You can see it fits like that. It won't fit uh, this way, obviously. Yeah, it won't fit. It won't fit this way. And it won't fit this way. Only fits that one specific way, and of course, more crusty thermal paste fell out. Oh, it's breaking. Okay, anyways, uh, can just put your CPU in now, or processor, whatever you want to call it, and then you just close this little flap. Alright, you close the flap first. Yep, and then you close this flap first so that it aligns with the screw because if you put it like this, it won't sit properly. So you have to do it like this, otherwise it won't be seated properly and your CPU could fall out. So you want to close the flap first and then close the thing. And of course, basically the opposite. You close it, push it out, and then let it go back in. So that's basically it. Now that uh, you're done, you can just put your heatsink back in. And then you can just screw it back in. Make sure they're screwed in tightly. And I recommend that you screw it in a star pattern. So you basically screw like either this or this one first. And then you do the one diagonal to it. So it's for example, this one first. And then this one first. And then this, this one first. This one next. This one third. And this one fourth. But of course, I'm an idiot. And I don't follow uh, the safe way of doing it. Because I don't know. But anyways, now that that's done, you can connect your fan. I forgot to connect it in previous videos, which I... Horrible memory. So, and anyways, yeah. Uh, looks to be it. Let me just check something. So, I just want to check how many subscribers I have because... Why not? I haven't checked it in a while. Uh, connect to the internet. Yeah, I don't know why, but my iPad Air 2 has problems connecting to the internet downstairs. So it keeps disconnecting for some reason. Anyways, just connect to my Wi-Fi network and I should be uh, ready to go. But anyways, uh, you can just put the cover back on when you're done. Uh, probably should have done that before doing the thingy. You know, unable to join my Wi-Fi. Okay. Anyways, you there's these pegs down here, and they align with these little holes, and it just goes in, and then you just push. And yeah, so. Why isn't the Wi-Fi connecting? Turn Wi-Fi off. Should be able to connect just fine. There we go. 
Anyways, let's check how many subscribers I have. Uh, Okay. Your channel. 86 subscribers. Um, okay. Yeah, not bad. Wasn't really expecting it to rise that much. But 86 is pretty good, so thank you for 86 subscribers. And, uh... Yeah, not, not, nothing much to celebrate, uh, but thank you, and uh, yeah, that's basically it for the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, check out my Twitter at ufelix5, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye.